people thought we were going to be rather nice and middle class, and boy, were they in for a shock. People tend to think of comics as being very kind of throwaway entertainment, but this was some deep political stuff. 2000 AD was something radically different from anything that had been done before. They were sort of glorious hippie anarchists. They were doing it better than the American comics. This isn't like Spider-Man. It, it was dangerous. For a nine-year-old boy, it was life-changing. You don't want something your teacher likes. Jesus, throw it out of the fucking window. I don't know what it was if everybody was just on rave drugs. has never really gone for sort of the traditional Hollywood Disney route. It gave creative people the chance to do anything. There wouldn't be a vertigo if there wasn't 2000 AD. It's an, an enormously strong visual influence. I think it's also a very strong subversive influence. Fuck all that punk rock left wing shit. I am really punk. We were driving it further and further towards the edge. We were the lunatics who had taken over the asylum. We got it right at the beginning. Fuck off. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'd rather have an unprotected sex with a dead baboon's ass. <laughs> There's always a lot of violence in my stories because it's fun. It's mad stuff. It couldn't appear anywhere else but 2018. It was saying that to the establishment. Maybe the world's just not ready for that. <laughs> Anyone can make a comic. There's only one 2018.